game show that's three dimensions away from Evil Dead Rises having content in Evil Dead the Game. I'm your host, 3D Jake, and today we're looking at Evil Dead the Game, released in 2022. Evil Dead the Game is a is an adaptation of Evil Dead of the Evil Dead series. Basically follows four players versus one player, 4v1 type asymmetrical multiplayer online multiplayer game, where one play or one player is the deadite and then the other players are survivors and they have to basically do these challenges in order to win the game the basically kind of like friday the 13th but with more bots i would say i would say it's closer to predator hunting grounds a game which i've yet to cover on the channel the game is essentially one player is a deadite and their goal is to just go around and you know, kill all the players before they uh, just get uh, evaporate the other players. You know, and so basically, you know, you can spawn a bots that will go and try to kill the other players, and you can even possess a player. Basically, you're almost like the force of wind that you can possess things like you're the possessor. You can just possess, you know, almost a spectator, and you can possess cars. You can possess the deadite and then try to destroy them. You know. And which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool. Or you can manifest uh, when you build up your strength to like uh, you know a boss and try to destroy them, you know. Or you can play as a player, which you have to just go around surviving, collecting ammo and stuff, and killing AI bots. And then of course, eventually you have to collect all these pages and like on the map, all these things on the map, and then go to this location and destroy the hell priest or the dead, uh, you know, the hooded robe hell priest pe figures. And then once you destroy them, then basically. You destroy the book and then in the game you win or if you be, or you could just be like the bad guy at the game you know the dead eye and just kill the you know all the players that works too um the game um it's pretty fun the, all, they have lots of options in the game like they have all the players survivors from the original three movies it, you know uh, with the exception of like a couple of like you know like they don't have like uh, they do not have like um you know like in beth Wood david's character from uh, army of darkness but they have all pretty much every other character in the the first game and the second first three movies and also they have characters from ash versus evil dead the series and you know the 2013 film they have two characters from that film so it's pretty great got a lot of variety of characters and i really enjoy that that you get to play with these different characters and everything um there is a basically an exploration mode where if you just because they have big giant maps if you just want to go and explore things rather than you know and fight you know a little bit of ai you know or if you just want to basically you know they have different types of modes like if you want to just play with online people you can or if you want to play with bots you can or if you just want to do a tutorial you can or if you want to do challenges which are from the movies itself you can do that as well which is fun you know, my what I really like about the game is that the exploration, how big the maps are in terms of like Friday 13th had maps like that. I like walking around and seeing iconic locations like, oh my God, that's the cabin from the original movie and the remake as well. Or I, oh, look, that's Castle Kandar from, you know, the Army of Darkness. Or, oh, cool, that's like Ash's camper from Ash vs. Evil Dead. And, oh, over here, that's the mansion from uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Or, oh, that's this thing from Evil Dead 2, you know, and... Oh, that's the well thing from Army of Darkness, you know, and just all this cool thing. There's not all the movies and, you know, Army of Darkness, you know, and Ash vs. Evil Dead. All these great things, you know. There is no content yet from Evil Dead Rises. I suspect they're going to add it eventually because why not? I mean, it was a huge successful film from Warner Brothers. Why wouldn't they? I understand they don't have the rights to it yet, but, like, it'd be an easy deal to make. Um, Saber Interactive had developed this game, and they they did World War Z, the game, but one I have yet to cover on the channel. Um, so I was, I thought it was okay, that game, but it wasn't as fun. It was just a shooter. That's it. Like it could have been an arcade game for all I care, but this game actually does feel like, you know, it's a third person game. I love third person. Don't like first person that much. And it feels like you could actually like, oh, you get to customize Ash. Like I bought the, the, the premium edition of the game, you know, the, it was, it's not the, I didn't buy the biggest version. Like the one with the, the $200 one is like, I paid the thing like 200 for mine, I don't think I paid like two fifty or two hundred, you know, fifty or whatever it was like for you get everything with the Book of the Dead. I got everything but the Book of the Dead because that was the only edition they had left. And like you know, I really wanted you know the shirt, and I got the shirt, and I got like a record, and I got like all this cool the concept art books and all this cool stuff with it, and even a digital download CD code. So it was pretty cool. I got all this cool stuff with it, and I got a cool poster which I yet to frame. 
and you know i got all this cool stuff with it and i'm, I'm i would really like that and I, I like this game i also got a cool steel book and th i like this game a lot this game is really fun it's a love letter to the evil dead franchise i really like how detailed it is and i got all the pretty much every character that voiced a character in the game has come back like you know cheryl and ash and you know scotty and all of them have come back and they've got pablo and they have uh what's his name what's her name uh, i forget her name in the game but she came back as well and they have all these voice act all these actors that acted in their characters from the movie are their voice characters in the game with the exception i think the other person that didn't come back was the the girl from the 2013 maya from the 2013 film she said she didn't get what she said on twitter it's not her because of you know like payment dispute or whatever so she didn't do this they got to sound like but everybody else returned and did their voices for the game which is awesome i really like that you know you know it's like they got ted raimi back and everything it's just so cool that everybody come back and did their character voices and it feels authentic i love it when people from movies that are come back and do the character of their voice in the game as well i always say the tension detail is perfect and i like how they added details and little easter eggs and this and that i love that aspect of it i also like you know how they have challenges in the game that are like recreated scenes from the movie like oh you have to defeat harriet or you have to literally defeat the other things from ash versus evil dead or you have to defeat you know our castle kandar you have to army of dark evil ash from army of darkness and you have all these cool things in the game that you have to do and i do like that aspect of it like oh you can relive the movies or you know so you have all and all, you have different class of characters there are some classes where it's like like the people that are basically like like alphas are basically like old man ash and then like the secondary where are hunters or whatever they're basically like you know ash from army of darkness and then you got your lower classes which is like ash with that with both of his hands from the first movie and stuff like that which uh, you you want the alphas you do not want the lower class and like you know it's really cool and the demons are really cool too like you got these um these uh demons from ash versus the evil dead that you can just go around just zapping people and killing and it's just freaking you know dri drives you crazy those are the most annoying creatures ever like just annoying and you know that that you know like that's one thing i do not like like i, I also don't like that some of them it, sometimes it gets repetitive because people always choose the same things and sometimes you're just you know, like you're playing online with people and then they just choose these like, you know, creatures from Ash vs. Evil Dead, which have electricity and, you know, it's just very easy to kill you and it just really sucks, you know, and that also, and there's not a lot of great voice chats in the game. So it's like, if somebody's talking, you really can't hear them and the voice chat's not great in the game. And also, um, I also like that, I don't like that if you get in the car, like it pings like them, you know, like, cause also like, you know, there's certain things I don't like about the game. But I do like that the map is pretty big and it's really fun to shoot and kill these deadites. You know, um, I do kind of wish that you could find ammo easier and stuff because sometimes it's just hard to find, you know. And other than that, I mean, I really enjoy this game. And, you know, I do think, you know, the attention detail is perfect and it's just such a love letter to the original game. If I had to give this game a grade, I would give it a solid 9.4 out of 10. Thank you so much. Evil Dead the game. Ah. Ruby.